In our first reading, Solomon's, Solomon prays for wisdom. And in our gospel, though it doesn't seem that it can, has much, but truly it gives us a lot of wisdom, especially if we want to live as disciples of Jesus Christ. Jesus, the gospel starts by Jesus welcoming back the apostles the, after he sent them out and empowered them to do the work he was doing. And it was a successful trip, and they are excited about what they have done. But Jesus calls them now to go to a deserted place and be by themselves, to reflect on what happened to them. Because one of the obstacles for us in being disciples of Jesus, disciples of God, is sometimes we want to take things into our own hands. We want to be in control. And this is a bigger temptation when we're successful, when things are going well for us. Sometimes we think, well, I know how to do this. Look, I'm very successful. I can take on more control now. I don't need God as much. We tend to feel we can be independent of God. But remember, it was Jesus who sent the disciples out. It was Jesus who gave them the power to do what they've done. It's not about being successful or failing. It's about are we doing God's will? Are we following God or expecting God to follow us? And sometimes stepping back and reflecting on what we have done and being connected again with Jesus, who is the source of our power, help us to keep our plans in accordance to God's plan. And rather than feel that, you know, trust and confidence in ourselves that we can do whatever we need to do. So that's why, you know, taking that private time to pray outside of our communal prayers at Mass or other, you know, devotional prayers is important for us because we're always going to make sure we're connecting with Jesus and letting him lead us into our next steps. But as you know, just like today, even at the time of Jesus, Things don't work like we planned for them to be. Jesus had that my, you know, idea in mind, and yet when he got to the other side of the lake, people were there like sheep without a shepherd. So Jesus had to adjust his plans. He realized it's not the right time for them to take time to be by themselves. And in compassion, he was moved to teach the people. You know, we all heard the saying, if you want to make God laugh, tell him your plans. Sometimes we have to be adaptable. Sometimes we have to react and look at what God has put in our presence. That's how sometimes we realize God's plan. It's great, you know, if you plan to take a day of retreat and go to one of the retreat houses to just spend a day in prayer and reflection, but then if your spouse gets sick, if your child gets sick, obviously you need to change your plan and to take care of the immediate needs, and later on you can go back to your plan. The other interesting thing about, you know, the gospel today is what did Jesus do? Obviously, those people were after Jesus because he was working miracles. He was healing the sick, casting out demons. But that's not what Jesus provided them. It says he taught them. And as you know, this gospel will followed by the miracle of the loaves and the fish. Then Jesus will feed them for their, you know, needs, for human needs. And, but first Jesus came to feed us spiritually, to put our spiritual hunger and to fill our spiritual hunger. Do we seek that, God, that teaching from the Lord today? What are we doing to continue our own formation? our own knowledge of God, the path that God has chosen for us, and the treasures that he gives us through that church. Solomon asked for wisdom from God. He realized he doesn't have the answers. And we need sometimes to be humble enough to realize we need the wisdom of God, that wisdom that's been handed on to us through the church over the centuries. Because as we look at the big picture, we see how God always works with his people, and there's a lot of things we can learn from them, rather than repeating the same mistakes over and over. You know, it's almost a month before Lent starts, so maybe it's a good time for you to begin to think about what can you do during this Lenten journey so you can grow closer to Christ. 
maybe you need to learn more about your faith and grow in understanding and let Jesus teach you. Maybe you need more time for your own prayer to be alone and spend time for, with Jesus.